Hello and welcome back. This is part two of the Europa DK tutorial app where we'll continue exploring the Getting Started Guide. In part one, we learn how to import items, create targets, discuss reference frames, and create an approach program. Let's continue where we left off to complete our simulation. Let's select program and teach target on surface. Now let's create some different targets on the surface of the object by left clicking on that object surface. Notice that moving the cursor over the part gives you a preview of what the robot will look like when it reaches that point. As you can see, our six new targets have been created. Let's now move on to the next step. You can right click and select done to exit this mode. To move an existing target, you can hold Alt or Alt Shift to keep it on the surface. Now select all the newly created targets and let's rename them Top Paint by right clicking and selecting Rename Group. Now let's right click again on the group to create the paint program. This one we will rename to Paint Top. Now if we double click the program we can see the simulation moving along the targets. Now let's create a retract program by placing the robot in a retract position. We will increase the seed coordinate in order to move the robot upwards. Let's modify that coordinate in the correct section and as you can see, the robot has moved to a higher position. Now we can add another program and rename it to retract. There we go. Now we will select a move linear instruction. You could also rename instructions. Let's rename this one to retract as well. Now we will select the home target, select program and add a move joint instruction again. Now we can simulate each program individually by double clicking them. You can also click the fast simulation button to make the simulation go faster. Now let's bring all of our programs together by creating a main program. We will select Add Program again and rename this one to Main Prog. It will call all the programs that we individually created to bring them all together. Let's click Program Call Instruction and add Approach Move. Then select OK. And then we are going to repeat these steps for the two other programs, namely Paint Top, And finally, retract. As you can observe, they've been successfully added to the main program. Now double clicking that main program will run the complete simulation. You can make it simulate in a loop by clicking the loop button. Now if we want to generate a robot program, we need to right click on the program and select generate a robot program. The file you obtain is the result of generating the program offline. The file can be sent to the robot controller to run the same movements that were simulated in RoboDK. Now to send the program through FTP, you can right click again and select send program to robot. You could also check the option run on robot to run the program step by step each time we run the program. This allows executing the program on the robot as it is simulated at the same time. It should be noted that robot drivers are required for online programming. Now it is possible to change the post processor for your robots and customize the way a program is generated. For this, you will need to right click on the program or robot and select post processor. For this particular example, we want to select universal robot URP. And now you can simply regenerate the program by right-clicking and following the same steps. Now we have completed the Getting Started Guide. This example is available online if you wish, or in the RoboDK local library. The conclusion page of the guide allows you to reach the online documentation or the YouTube channel of RoboDK for more information and tutorials. At any point in the tutorial, you can also use the top toolbar to reach the online version of the documentation or return to the main menu of the app by clicking the home button. 
Once you have completed one of the modules, you can return to any of the other sections of the wizard. This is the end of the RoboDK tutorial app demonstration. Thank you very much for watching.